Welcome back to more Christmas special. I think this is actually just gonna be a little bit of a bonus episode because we've just been doing so many crazy fun things and I just wanted to share more things with you. Just in case you are new, my name is Charlie. We're currently in the UK at the moment with my husband Tom and my baby girl Lexi. We're spending Christmas with my family, which I'm just so unbelievably grateful for because we haven't been able to do it for a couple of years and I'm just literally soaking it up. Every little moment. Yesterday we had the best day. It was just so much fun. It was just really, wholesome you know there's been a beautiful frost outside it's about minus six degrees at the moment which is crazy and i'm not really used to that and tom has just been going absolutely ah <laughs> It's early christmas morning when santa rolls out of bed he rubs his tired eyes and lifts his weary head He knows the day before him from so many times before It's what he loves the most and will do forevermore Actually this is a good point to drop in something quite fun because yesterday Tom and my brother Henry decided they were going to try and construct, well, it started off as con they wanted to construct a house out of ice from the pond, and then where they kind of, well, diverted from that. So I'm just gonna drop in a little montage of what happened. Okay, so ice is such a novelty for Tom that he's decided he wants to build a house out of the pond. What exactly is the plan, Tom? Building an ice house. Hardly winging it. You're totally winging it. It's like you're about to go ice, fish, ice fishing, Tom. Yeah. Cut your little hole and... Yeah, minnows. Minnows. Catch a minnow. What's that? One wall done. Can you grip it? It's very slippery. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! There it goes. You're pushing it further right, Henry. Quick. You can scoop it with this one. This one here. Yeah, that's got a hook. Hook it. Yeah. That's why I brought these around. Yeah. <laughs> Bound to happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fishing it's out. Right. right, one wall. What's happening here? For this because they're trying to do a tower it's going to be very tough so we've gone for just architectural coolness so you're building abstract oh, you're building an ice sculpture instead of a house now a slight twist on it a slight twist The ice transporter are you? No. Tom Tom is the hunter gatherer of ice and you're the, the sculptor construction. Let's see that's that's no good. That's no good. Are you literally gonna cut up the whole pond? How many more layers are we doing? <laughs> oh, till the pole's over. <laughs> gonna reach the sun. This is the big reveal of the sculpture. Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, that's pretty cool. Have you used all the ice from the pond? I don't need that. <laughs> I mean, it's almost as tall as me. I was totally shocked that they managed to build that sculpture it looks amazing and it is still standing now we actually went outside to film this morning because the frost has got even thicker i wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of people that watch this are um, from australia and it's something they probably wouldn't have seen before here so i just thought i'd kind of 
share what it's like, you know, in, in December in the UK. Uh, yesterday was just a, a really perfect day. We were just hanging out as a family. <laughs> 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 we had a raclette, which if you don't know, basically involves, it's basically like a posh jacket potato. You're effectively melting cheese. Oh, Tommy Roo's just coming in. He's having his breakfast. <laughs> it's effectively just melting cheese in a little pan um, in like a machine and then you just pour it onto your potato and it is so good. Oh my goodness. And we were just doing a jigsaw. I got a Christmas jigsaw and oh, it was just like a really nice day, you know? So the plan for today is we are heading into Colchester, which is my nearest town, which has actually officially been made into a city now, I think. They have a Christmas, a high street Christmas market. So I have to go and check out like what, what's going on there. And I thought I'd take you guys along too for more Christmas stuff. Oh my goodness. Honestly, there is just so much festivity going on and I am just here for it all. I hope you guys are too because, you know, well, I guess you wouldn't really be watching this otherwise. <laughs> I even did my nails. Here we go. I've got red nails for Christmas and it's so cute because Lexi um, keeps just going, red, red. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Let's head into Colchester. We made it into Colchester all rubbed up. I've got a Christmas hat on. I've got a coat that's like massive. Um, first things first, the important stuff, coffee. Or more importantly, I think I'm gonna have to get this one. Black Forest Hot Chocolate. Oh my goodness, really? All I see is snow, bells and mistletoe. Lexi's got her little snacks, she's happy. Oh, thank you. Colchester is officially Britain's oldest recorded town, or now city, since it's now a city. There's loads of really old buildings and it's really cool. Red Lion Hotel. That, the Red Lion Hotel, it's haunted. Yeah. Oh. Well, that Christmas market was um, pretty hectic. I don't think I've been around that many people right, in like two years, I'd say. It, was it wasn't very Christmassy. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very Christmassy, was it? It was just smallest market rather than Christmas market. There was like two stalls that were like actually Christmas, kind of themed, if that makes sense. But it's nice, nice to be out, nice to be in Colchester. We've just come to Castle Park. Um, the castle's just behind us there. They always do a display oh, in this little area, don't they? Snacks, yeah. She just tipped her snacks everywhere. <laughs> Have you tipped you? Oh no. A little frosty bread. She noise. looks really like over it. She's like chilly. I mean, she's bundled up in about 15 layers. But she's warm. She is warm, you're right. I think let's head for some lunch, shall we? Some risotto, little one. Ham and pea risotto. Oh, look at it. Very hot. We've got buffalo and truffle tortellini with mushroom sauce. Henry's having a steak. Yum. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we just got home from Colchester. <clears throat> My goodness, that meal was so delicious. It's quite nice, wasn't it? You had steak and Watch me coffee. potatoes. I'm not gonna touch, I'm not gonna kick your coffee over. Uh, the market definitely wasn't uh, quite as, as Christmassy as I, I was hoping it to be. And it was very hectic, <laughs> but but it was nice, nice to be out and about. It was nice to be out in the cool, the cold weather. I just love it. I'm just literally soaking up all the cold weather. Tom is not. 
<laughs> I'm absorbing all the cold weather and for a reason. No, it's not that bad. Get some plenty of layers on. It's all mm. good. It's very pretty. The landscape. Yeah. It is. It looked really sunny today. Super frosted. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that has commented on our video. It probably would have been last week for um for the announcement of Bubs number two. Mm. <laughs> Crazy times, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can't. I can't quite believe it. I feel. I feel just very lucky. Very lucky that we're we've got a love a little one on the way. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching and probably Merry Christmas, probably Christmas by this point, I don't even know. But uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will see you soon. Bye.